every hour. Okay. Dahil lahat tayo ay uh, takot na sa COVID. Ito po yung napili ko para nga gagawin natin well, parang nakita natin na may panalalik tayo kay Lord. So welcome to Pastor Ray Channel our Bible study. Today we will take up our topic for our Bible study and um, it's much of a study because we will be writing something and we will be writing again and again and we will take up uh, three verses only but we have questions and answers so that uh, we will be sure that we are ready to study or we are studying our Bible. Okay, so stay tuned. Package. Okay, ito po yung uh, nakikita ko. This is what I, I found out that as a Christian, we are already receiving a package from the Lord. Okay, so if you receive a package, what will you do? Okay, so um, 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 7 to 9. Uh, we will study this one and um, we will draw a package if you are um, uh, listening to me now you need to draw a package in just two minutes two minutes only okay okay are you drawing now a package <laughs> okay draw a package okay and then thank you for being with me and um, one minute has elapsed. <laughs> Had elapsed there. <laughs> okay. One minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> Sandali lang naman ito eh. Uh, one minute and um, 45 seconds. And uh, one minute and 50 seconds. Ang bilis. 1 minute and 55 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 Okay, thank you for participating Ito siguro yung mga drawing nyo Ito siguro yung mga drawing nyo, no? Wow, there's a string a Sticker because it has destination also okay so it is about a package is all about an object or group of objects wrapped in a paper or plastic or pack in the box number two a set of proposals or terms offered or agreed as a whole okay so a package a, a package of proposals it means that i propose this, these things and that things and that those all these things okay and uh, that is proposals it's a package proposal here is an object also okay so this is all um, being uh, defined as or the definition of package okay so that's the picture of package we'll go now to our verses Okay. Paano na ba to? Okay. The first verse there is verse 7. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 7. Wow. Um, Therefore you don't lack any spiritual gift. Okay? Okay. Therefore, you don't lack any spiritual gift. As you eagerly wait for the Lord Jesus, the Messiah. Okay, so we don't lack any spiritual gifts. Spiritual gifts are given to those who are born again. Are given to those who are believers of Jesus Christ of the Bible. And as we wait for his second coming, 
because He will be coming to get us as born again, as Christians, we do not lack any spiritual gift. The spiritual gift is empowering us to, to uh, actually to preserve us. Number two is to, in the furtherance of the gospel, we have the gifts of tongues, we have the gifts of prophecy, we have the gifts of administration, and all other things as a gift. It's a package to all of us. Okay, so there's a package to be revealed. So this is a gift, spiritual gift is a package to all of us to be revealed. Okay, so number point number one is the so-called complete letter C. Ito lokasini siya. So three C is complete. So we are complete already uh, in in being born again because we have all the spiritual gifts that we have in order to uh, further the gospel. These are the questions in verse 7. Who are those that do not lack spiritual gift? Okay. Artists, believers, convicted. Siyempre, letter B, believers. What is spiritual gift? Spiritual gift. Okay. A talent from parents, payment from working, act of the Holy Spirit given to believers performing supernatural acts. Okay, so that would be, the answer would be letter C, act of the Holy Spirit given to believers performing supernatural acts who were, early, who were eagerly waiting for because Jesus is coming soon. James the least, Simon Peter, Corinthian believers. Okay, so letter C, Corinthian believers as based on our story. Who will be revealed when he comes? Okay, Mary Magdalene, Joseph the dreamer, see Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ. Okay, let's go now to the next verse. He will keep you strong until the end. No, Rabbi, you know, ito ito yung the best, eh. the best na verse. Uh, pang pawala ng ano. Ang lulu mo, okay. We will be strengthened. We will be keep in a good shape until the end. Okay, so God will give us strength until the end. So until maybe He comes, so that you will be blameless. You know, so so God is saying here that you need to be. I will keep you strong, and then so that you will be. Blameless. Blameless is that uh, you don't have any guilt at all. Uh, no, pe no person can accuse you and blame you. And the day, on the day of the Lord, it means that on the day of the Lord, when Jesus comes, and uh, he will, she will be, he will be coming soon. Uh, you will be blameless. You're, you're stronger. You, you'll be strong. So let us see is that he cared for you. Okay? God cares for us so that um, we can be, we can uh, extend that until the day that Jesus Christ will be uh, revealed or comes. Okay? Questions number eight. What will Jesus do to the believers while waiting for him? Keep busy, keep quiet, see, keep strong, keep strong, okay? Let us see. 
Number two, until when Jesus keep us strong? Beginning of time, middle time, or end of time? Letter C is end of time. What will be the outcome of our Christian life while waiting for the Lord to come? Okay, bold, blame, C, blameless. Let us see, blameless. What is the meaning of the day of the Lord? When Jesus comes, end of the world, ultimate judgment. When Jesus comes, okay. What is blameless? Blameless means A, guilty, B, badly, C, not guilty. Not guilty. Okay, so we will come now to the next verse. Verse 9, the last verse that we are about to uh, study. Faithful is the God by whom you were called into. Okay, faithful, it means that He will not leave you. Okay, when He promised, He will do it. Okay, so He you are called by the Lord, then He is faithful in carrying you, making you strong, and uh, keeping you safe. That is what the Lord uh, would want for you. Because this God is faithful. Faithful, it means when He promised, He will make it sure that He will do it. Okay? So, faithful is the God by whom you were called into fellowship with His Son, Jesus. Fellowship, it means we can be together with Jesus. We can be a friend with Jesus. To the Messiah, our Lord. Okay, so Messiah here is uh, not only Savior, but the Anointed One or the Chosen One. Okay, the Savior and the Chosen One. Okay, so C means consens consistent. C is consistent. Okay, so so verse 9, ang point ko dito ay consistent po yung uh, Panginoon natin, si Lord. Okay, yung faithfulness niya ay ayaw talaga paawat si Lord. Nandyan siya kahit may problema. Faithful po siya, darating po siya. At times, na need po ka kay Lord, ay darating po si Lord. Okay, nandito na naman tayo sa ating questions so verse 9 what is faithful okay so a beautiful b boastful c loyal who is faithful a Duterte b Simon Petal c God who called us letter c God who called us 3 what is fellowship a. Asleep. B. Different interest. C. One interest in Jesus. It is letter C. One or united in interest in Jesus. Okay, so we have now the last and final portion our responses. What will be the first thing you do upon hearing that Jesus Christ give us gives us complete spiritual gift? Okay, what will be your response to that? Okay, give me one activity on the following as your res response. Keep you strong to the end. B, keep you blameless till the end. God is faithful. How often do you fellowship and why? Is it A, once, B, few, C, only if I'm in need, and D, always. Okay? So, answer your questions. Answer these questions in our comment section or in our uh, chat box. Okay? So, answer your questions in our 